So, uh, you know, like I said, we, we came out with a little bit of a chip on our shoulder, but at the end of the day, we were doing it for our, for our brothers and our seniors. Is that something coaching staff brings up or you guys bring up? How does that work? Uh, I mean, for, for people who was here, it, it rings a lot of bells. You don't really have to bring it up. We kind of know. But like I said, more than anything, we're doing it for our seniors. Walk me through that dive, man. What was the fun? Uh, I don't actually remember the play, but uh, I just remember uh, seeing it on the outside. I was like, I don't think I'm going to make it if I try to run. So I just dove. Uh, you know, it's the SEC Championship, so we would be, you know, so no matter who we play, we're going to be motivated for it. So I think we'll go out there and have a good, uh, good week of practice. How much have you thought about the way that uh, that game ended over the year? Uh, you know, you know, I haven't gave too much thought to it. Honestly, uh, I've. Uh, I honestly tried to focus on, you know, getting to this year and then getting back to the, get back to a point to uh, play in the SEC Championship again. So I'm glad we're back at this point and uh, we're focusing on the ball. Last year it was a lot of big chops on Michelle. This year it's kind of your year. What are you trying to show that you can do against Alabama? Uh, no, I just want to win. You know, at the end of the day, I just want to win and help my team any way I can. You jump out 21 nothing right away, Elijah. Set the tone. What did that mean, and how did that catch you rolling? Uh, t when we got up, you know, we had a lot of momentum, and we just wanted to. I just kept saying the whole time, you know, just keep your foot on their throat. Just keep your foot on their throat. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to see my dad to get back in the game. You know, you're a Georgia kid, and uh, what with uh, this game, obviously, it's a little different in the fan base, kind of arguing over who's Georgia's biggest rival or whatever. What does it mean to you to have a game like this against them? Yeah, I'm from Atlanta, and I still, you know, my parents stayed in Atlanta, so I would hate to have to go back there and have to listen to all that <laughs> for the rest of the year. So I'm glad we, I'm glad we took, came out here and took care of business. So, you almost doubled them up in Russian yards. They're supposed to be the Russian team. Yeah. How does that make you feel? Uh, it makes us feel real good. That was one of our goals for this uh, game. That I rushed them, and uh, I think we, we accomplished. So that was like. Talking about before the game. Yeah, I mean, yeah, we, we wanted to kind of prove a point, you know, we can run the ball too, and uh, we, we were able to do that a little bit. Uh, your running teammate, if you will, Elijah had a pretty good game. DeAndre. So DeAndre's up there killed it. I saw that after your score, he was like the first one to greet you as you ran off. Yeah. Talk to me about that dynamic. You know, we kind of feed off of each other, you know. We kind of can see each other running, and it kind of gives us more energy to run. You know, I always ask him, how does it look out there, how to hit, and stuff like that. And he, I always tell him the same. So we're always rooting for each other because we're like brothers. You know, maybe I think maybe his first score, he wound up short by like one yard. He got up, you know, just mad. Yeah. Was there ever thought about maybe you going in after? Because you, you know how you guys kind of go back and forth. Yeah. But if he got a foot short, yeah. I imagine if he would have been a little bit if you got in, got his team. Ah, uh, no, nah, I mean, he, he would have been upset just, you know what I'm saying, just because he was more so upset that he didn't score on that run. You know, we like to make the most of our runs, and, uh, you know, so that was the run he felt like he should have scored on. So, uh, like I said, I wouldn't, you know what I'm saying, it's never nothing like that. Me and him are like brothers. What I'm just saying, it would have been, not, not exactly, you would have be been mad about it. Like, I was so close. Yeah. And then, you get to you come in and punch it in from a foot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, nah. That. On those kind of plays, I always, I always, I always rather that guy stay in because you know you got that close, and you might as well punch it in. The importance of two big offensive games going into Alabama. Do you put much weight into gaining a little more confidence, maybe? Uh, no, like I said, we just try to get better every week, and that was, and that's been our goal uh, these last uh, couple games after Kentucky was just, just keep getting better every week, and that's what we, and that's what we tried to do, and I felt we have. You look at the stats, you guys outrushed the number one ranked rushing team in the country. You ever think that would happen? Uh, yeah, we have a lot of confidence in our offensive line, you know, and that was one of our things to come out of the